Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to cover some basic SEO that you can set up with your pages and your blog posts to make sure everything's optimized and that you have everything that you need. So to start off with the pages, what you want to do is go onto the page that you are wanting to optimize and then click into the page drop down. And then what you want to do is go into manage pages. And you have a list of all the pages here and you just want to make sure that each of them have all the basic SEO set up. So for example, the home page, um, if you click on the three dots for the home page, and then you see the option for SEO basics, you just want to click that. And you can see sort of the preview on Google, what people can see when you show when this page shows up in search results, and how you can change it. So for example, and this is the snippet here, and this is the page title. So right now the page title is home and the site name. So if you wanted to change the title for that, you would just click into the page's title tag. And you can see there's a character kind over here as well. And you can just click in and normal as normal. And then you can see the preview change as well um, as you're typing. And this is essentially the page, the title and the description, and you're going to use it to kind of explain to the user what exactly this page specifically is about. The next thing that you want to add then is the page's meta description. And the meta description is this description that shows up in search results. Um, it won't show up on the actual page of your website. It's just on the search results section. So when this page comes up in results, um, people will then read what's uh, that page about and will it match basically what they're searching for. And just like the title, you would just click into this section and then just type in exactly what the description that you want would be here. And you just post paste it in. You want to make sure you pick a description that accurately describes what's on this page specifically. And you're using sort of words that you want to rank for and want that page to rank for. So your description should be under four, uh, 500 characters. And you can see when you type in, there's a little kind of character count here. So you to kind of keep yourself right. The other thing then is the let search engines index this page. This is switched on by default. It just means you're allowing Google to kind of read this page. Um, so you want to make sure that stays switched on. And by default, it should already be switched on anyway. So all the work, all the pages um, work exactly the same from terms of the SEO basics. If you go into the about page, for example, and click on the three dots and click the SEO basics, and you can see then the snippets show up like here as well. You've got the about. Um, you've got the title, meta description, search engine, uh, indexing the page. Um, one thing that you might need to change is the URL. So as you're adding pages and you're adding blank pages, um, the URL might not change intuitively. So what you want to do is click into the URL and actually just give it the actual URL that it's meant to be. Um, in this case, it's about. Um, but again, you would just switch on, uh, make sure the search engine's indexes page toggle is switched on, and then add the title and add the description. That's really important as well. Um, for the blogs, it's slightly different. So if we go into the blog section of your website, so you can see I've opened up a blog here. And once you've finished writing your blog, you just want to go into the SEO tab here. And you can see all of the SEO settings um, on the left here. So similar to the pages, you've got the URL, which kind of takes it automatically from the um, title of the page. Then you've got the title tag and then you've got the meta description and it should already be filled in um, by taking the first few lines of your um, post but you want to make sure that the description is accurate and that it um, will kind of encourage users to click on it once if they see this um, in search engine results. Other things you can improve on is the social share so if you were to share this link on social media it'll show you how it's gonna show up so this is essentially a preview you've got an image um, you've got the title, you've got the description as well. Um, and then you can also do Twitter settings as well. So it'll show you specifically what it'll look like on Twitter with the card sizes. You can choose if it's large or small and it'll give you the preview that way as well. Um, under the advanced tab um, are more settings that you can use. There uh, is a way also to customize all of your SEO settings um, for all of your blog blogs in one go. 
um, if you click into this tab here and click go to SEO settings, it'll give you an overview of SEO settings that you can use and it'll apply those settings to every single post on your Wix site. Things like SEO basics and social share, if you click on that and you can see um, it'll take all the information dynamically. So by default, it'll take the post title and post excerpt. But what you can do is if you want to also add the site title, you just click on, you would add a separator and then click add variable. And then you can pick between what it is that you want to add. So for all of the posts, then it'll also add the site name. Um, and you can add more to that as well. Same with the meta description. So with the post excerpt, by default, it'll show an excerpt of the post, but you can also add um, sort of like the, anything else that you want to add in terms of like the post title um, and things like that. And then the search engines indexing your blog post toggle is switched on by default um, with the social share as well. So by default, it'll show the title tag, but if you want them all to show also the site name, you just add the title tag and then add the separator and then add the variable and then just look for the other variable that you want to add. So for example, maybe the site name. And then you have the cover image as well added and then you can set the Twitter settings as well. And other things you can do then, um, you just want to save. As for example, the page URL. So by default, the page URL is going to be your domain name slash post slash post slug, um, which you can keep or add more variables to. Um, and the other thing you can do is add something called meta, meta tags. So by default, the post writer time um, URL is all set. And But what you can do is you can add more sort of meta descriptions if you wanted to. Um, things like the uh, title tag you can add, you can add categories as well. Um, just depends on what additional meta tags that you want. Um, by typ typically the defaults that, that are set for the blogs are fine. It's maybe just this SEO basics that you want to add to, maybe add the site name to all of them as well, just to increase the width of your SEO title a little bit. Um, another thing you can do is if you go into uh, SEO settings as well, so from the marketing and SEO and go into SEO tools, um, you can set up the SEO settings for the main pages and again, so that was for the blog post but then you can also set up the SEO basics and social share for the pages as well. So by default you've got the page name, separator and the site name. Um, you can get rid of the site name if you wanted to um, or you can just keep it in there and you can add more variables to it as well. Um, so by default you can add like the business name, business description, um, things like that as a, as a default basically. If you come into the Get Found on Google tab, you can then uh, use the SEO setup checklist where Wix will kind of talk you through step by step um, how to improve your site for for SEO. Um, so it'll ask you sort of questions and then it'll give you a checklist and then you can connect to Google as well afterwards. So if you click Get Started, um, it'll ask you for your business name. and where you serve your customers or um, things like that. And then you want to write down what keywords that you want to use in your checklists. So you want to think of words and phrases that describe your site accurately and ha and shows what your business kind of has to offer. And you can use words that you want to rank for. Um, they can give you examples. If you click on see examples, um, there's a few here um, and they're kind of sh short and sweet and nothing too like wordy or anything like that and you want to make sure that they're all spelled correctly, things like that. And then just click next. And you can see your SEO setup checklist uh, being set up over here. So you would go through and just make sure that your site is following each of them. So for example, set the homepage titles for search results. If you click on go for it, it'll take you to your homepage uh, uh, example and you just want to make the changes that they're asking for. So for this one it's setting the homepage title for search results 
and you would it's asking you to basically just change the title so that it is using one of the keywords um, and then whichever one that you choose you just click apply and then it kind of moves on to the next issue so something like the uh, meta description and it'll tell you uh, basically what's missing so at least one keyword your business site name um, and then the text length so it's telling you what the issues are and what you're doing well um, and then things like that so then you can also see in step two there's also your site pages um, there's about 30 tasks you can see exactly what's going well what's going right and what you need to improve on so for example like the about page everything's fine apart from this one issue so it's asking you to set the meta description for that page and it gives you a preview and it lets you sort of um, fix the issue here and um, on this page instead of having to go into the um, editor again so yeah there's, so there's different ways to kind of update the SEO on, on your site either you can go through the editor and make sure all the pages have the title and the meta description or you can uh, go into the che checklist here and it'll show all of the issues and all of the uh, problems on one page basically and you can edit everything that way and it's the uh, pages and then also just the uh, blog posts as well and it gives this section basically just gives you an overview of what you need uh, left to add.